Three of Ursula von der Leyen's top officials had close ties to fossil fuel companies despite the EU's push for a carbon-neutral continent. Research by campaign group Global Witness has uncovered links between three EU commissioners to companies linked with highly pollutant activities. This comes despite Mrs. von der Leyen having ordered member states to be carbon-neutral by 2050. The top EU official told bloc nations to practice sustainability for her European Green Deal, but analysis, published by the Euractiv News website, found that the bloc's most senior foreign diplomat had links to a number of firms associated with fossil fuels. Josep Borrell served on the board of Spanish energy firm Abengoa between 2009 and 2016. The company was involved in the construction of combined cycle gas turbine power plants. During his stint with Abengoa, Mr. Burrell received up to €300,000 a year. The Spaniard was forced to resign as the president of the European University Institute after failing to declare his interest in the firm in 2012. Mr. Burrell holds a master's degree in oil economics and was an engineer for Spanish petrol giant Cepsa. Global Witness said, Burrell's history with Abengoa raises questions for a politician so closely involved in European environmental policy. As the EU's High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Burrell represented the bloc at COP25 in 2019. EU Health Commissioner Stella Kirakidis has family ties to a firm that refines oil. While Ms. Kirakidis does not have direct professional ties, her declaration of interests shows that her husband was director at Motor Oil Holdings and Petroventure Holdings. The two Cypriot companies together own a 40% stake in Motor Oil Hellas, a large Greek oil refining and trading business. The company operates the largest privately held industrial complex in Greece and processes 186,000 barrels of crude oil a day. Romanian Transport Commissioner Adina Valian declared herself as having served on the advisory board of Finite Assets, which she received a fee of €104,325 for. The consultancy work took place while she was still a member of the European Parliament. During the stint at the firm, the company was owned by Swiss firm Rompatrol Holding. Rompatrol was government-owned until it was bought out by billionaire Dinu Patricia in 1993. He became Romania's richest man after selling the business to Kazakhstan State Oil and Gas Company.